Hello guys, this is Blowjos again, and today I will be giving you the Mighty Mug Review, uh, Django Fett. So we'll start off with the package here, you see Django Fett's name written here, and him along the side. Star Wars logo and the Mighty Mug logo are right here. On this corner you see him, kind of, uh, I don't know how to say it, it's on both sides there. And also in the back there he is. Um, you see Django Fett here again, and uh, it says welcome to the trendy side of the forest. You see both his blaster pistols here, and beneath him you see Lando, Leia, and Clone Commander Cody. They're all from Wave 3, and Darth Vader and Boba Fett, who were from Wave 1. You see the Star Wars logo again up there. On the bottom of the package you just see a bunch of warnings, the Mighty Mug and Star Wars logo again. And on the top, you see Django Fett's face. So we move on to the Mighty Mug itself. Overall, like every other mug, he's pretty cool. Um, it comes with two blaster pistols, which are kind of shaped oddly. You've got a hole right there, and uh, a little bit of a gap there. It looks like, uh, uh what, like a gun for spraying raid at bugs or something for killing them but uh... comes with two of those um, he's got jetpack of course and lots of silver detail on this one on the bottom of his foot you see the mighty mug logo and a hole for possibly a stand or something But uh, overall pretty cool mighty mug um, the only complaint that I really have with this one is that with mine, like, it, this hand doesn't hold the blaster very well. It just slides in and out really easy. Feels like he's going to drop the thing, but, uh... And another complaint that I have is uh, with the Boba Fett Mighty Mug, there was a Mandalorian logo on his shoulder, but uh, Django Fett doesn't have one. So, uh... It's a little bit weird, but uh, of course he's got his jetpack here. Uh, pretty cool detail, I'd say. He he's probably one of the more detailed mugs, similar to uh, Grievous, who had lots of detail. But um, I find that the helmet really captures Django's helmet. It's got the little antenna there on the side. Uh, it's got some some. Uh, Painted on dents there, it looks kind of cool, oh, whoops, looks kind of cool. Um, I don't know really what to say about this mug, he's pretty decent. Um, I wouldn't recommend getting him unless uh, you like your mugs for their detail or uh, you're a Django Fett fan. I'm not really a uh, Mandalorian fan or the... Boba or Django Fett mugs, but he looks pretty cool. Um, I'd probably give this figure 8 out of 10 for good detail, but uh, I don't know, it's just something I, 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 that Mandalorian logo would have been pretty cool, and I don't know, it's just not my type of mug, I'd say. But, uh, uh, I bought this one off eBay from the same person I bought my General Grievous from. So, uh, it cost me $20. Um, that's a little bit pricey, but what can you say? I'm addicted to mugs. Um, not really much to say after that. Uh, I got a Darth Maul mug coming in the mail pretty soon here. So I'll be reviewing that soon, and uh, my parents are, if they do it, they're picking me up Beetle in the city from the uh, Mystica Bonacle line there. So I'll have a review of that up shortly, and uh, yeah. So there you have it, Mighty Mugs, Django Fett.